screen as we jump into the first round of Busan, kicking things off with Mecha Base. One of the things I want to point out in terms of main tank damage, Pokepo on Reinhardt near is the highest in terms of team fight damage percentage coming from Reinhardt out of any player in the league. This map, though, not conducive to Reinhardt. will be starting on the Wrecking Ball, it seems here. That's been very meta. We're seeing a lot of Widow duels here. And it looks to be a bit of a mirror with Stellar on the Widow. And Envy bringing the X Factor with the Sombra. So a Divalist composition here for the Defiant solo tank. Will be Yakpung on the Wrecking Ball. Yeah, also going to have the friend on that Tracer. We'll see if he can get any backline picks. At the moment, Widow just going to be looking to scout out. Trap going to be destroyed. Hasn't really spotted anybody yet. So needs to shift over to the side, try to get a better angle. So far, not finding a whole lot of anything. Eight taking a couple shots. Not going to be able to lock him down. Everyone just really playing away from the point. You can see Atlanta right, trying to chase in. They Ivy. actually do manage to find Yakpung. Yeah, Ivy is trying to flank as well at the same time. Envy too low here. We'll have to translocate away. Pokepo finds a kill in onto Stellar. Already fantastic start here for Atlanta as they will lock down the point. Yeah, they had full control of the point because of the angle they had with their Widow versus Stellar. You'll see the kill there onto Envy as well. So Atlanta just having absolute control of this zone, meaning the Defiant couldn't actually approach. They were relying on Ivy coming for the flank. Didn't actually get that pick there in the end. We will see him looking for that once again here. But he doesn't have a Pulse Bomb, so this is really unrealistic to expect. He can actually break through with Airster right there for the stun. Yep, starting to push forward, but not going to be getting too much damage. Has to peel back with the rest of his squad. As they see Popo going forward. He's going to get punished for that. Yep. Hate throwing down those Discord orbs. Does help them get that kill now right up into the front. Gets sunned up. Oh, comes right around the corner of the Brita. The last thing you want to see is a Tracer player. Gets taken down. Defiant do manage to find Kodak, but that's about as good as it's going to get here at the moment. So man advantage still going to be there for the side of the Atlanta rain, but Roki tries to even things up a little bit as the brand goes down, but they still haven't made their way onto the point. They're not taking this up at all. Airster's positioning is really good. It makes it difficult for Ivy to get in there and find any damage. He still hasn't built a single pulse bomb yet this game. Line of sight here, advantage for the moment, but it's gonna be lost real soon. Already challenged here Ooh, by Kodak. That body shot there onto the friend. He's got the orb of harmony, He's taking him back up, goes into the back line. He's looking for a pick. Not gonna be able to find one yet. Body shot again there from Stella. Just can't quite get. His bead there onto the head, it cannot get that kill. Ivy's still lurking around, but not able to get that pick. Oh, there it is, Kodak dropping down. Infrasight still up for Stellar, gets the shot. In control of the point, 55% was what was gained for Atlanta at the start now. Pushing past 20 here for Toronto. Ivy does manage to find one. Widow gonna be taken down, Pokeball gonna be hacked out, trying to retreat, but he's just not tanky enough. Can't get that adaptive shield anymore. Does get taken down, and for now, Toronto will control the point. They certainly do. And MV being closer to that EMP means he's going to be aggressively positioning himself to try to farm the last part of that charge. Meanwhile, uh, we do see flanks coming through from Ivy once again, but because Arister has been so on top of his squad here, it's just so difficult to find any damage on those supports, especially when you don't have a pulse bomb to toss in. Speaking of which, Defran, getting closer and closer. The seller just takes some shots. Goes back a little bit. The pressure from that Tracer. Nice shot going through. Can't quite get the enemy Widow. Pulse Bomb's gonna be out. Hits the ground. Can't find the kills. Let's force them back. Out of position here for the moment. Yakpun right up in the front. Does, does get sniped. Gets taken down the minefield. Not really netting them anything. Outside of just a little bit of control here onto the point. Stellar gonna be taken down. Safran opens things up the cap. Comes back in as Atlanta flips the point. Envy burned down. That's gonna be the effective wipe coming through. And Atlanta rain. Now back in control. Arister is absolutely shutting down everything Defiant is trying to do right now. He's getting these important kills. He's hitting these stuns. And he's healing the he's healing Kodak. You saw that armor pack come through in that last fight. That was the closest to death they'd ever been in terms of the harassment in the back line. And once again, he's right where he needs to be. He's got the EMP though, he's pushing forward. Goes ahead, tosses that one in. Kodak and Urster instantly taken down. Now looking for the rest of the supports. As Asa will get eliminated. And we managed to find Ivy. Double kill here from Lair, but he's going to be alone on the point and taken down in the end. So another fast flip getting ready to come through for Toronto. 93%. They need to get this before that OT starts coming in. Looks like they will get it just shy of that 97% here for Atlanta. Envy opened it all up with the EMP. They don't have a D.Va. It's very difficult to track and identify where a cloaked Sombra is in those moments. As long as he can hit the EMP, they have the follow-up damage. Even though Airstar was technically where he should be, he just wasn't able to get the stun in time. Oh, another great opening. That's going to be the sound barrier out of the fight. They will have his transcendence from Aid ready to go. He's going to pop, but as the pressure comes in, Pulse Bomb out from the friend, not going to be able to find the pick. 
up, pushed up over to the top, has that shield ready to go, looking for a snipe, gets tagged up by Stellar, drops down, gets him behind the walls, can't quite get Roki. Sound barrier's now gonna be out, catches three members, but Stellar's gonna be eliminated with Pokemon. Pokeball. In on the point, it's gonna be overtime for the side of Toronto. The foot comes in, Amanda Rain gain control of the point, and they barely managed to tag in to force that OT, but now it's clean up here. Toronto dropping like flies, and that should be it. Just about as eight does get cleaned up. 99 to 99, Atlanta looking to take it to 100. They will be able to do so. Mecha base is one of those maps where you are going to see the Widow duels, and Atlanta once again showing versatility of composition, and the Defiant just do not respond well. Very tunnel visioned. Fantastically done for them. They lead one to zero. We'll see how they finish this off when we come back from the break. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Atlanta Rain leading 1-0. We're able to take Mecha Base now. We'll be moving over onto Sanctuary, and we're straight back into the action. Let's see if they can close this out with a 2-0. Very tricky, you know, for the Defiant to try to put Stellar on Widow. He's not known for that hero, but now we're back to 3-3, back to what they played against the Houston Outlaws, back to Comfort, and it will force Atlanta to respond and bring in the same. They wanted to run the Tracer just in case Defiant put Stellar back on the weak Widow again. Had a very lackluster performance when compared to Inlayer. And so, you know, they thought they could shut it down, get a free win. They will be met with 3-3, though, and the control goes to the Defiant as a result. They're pushing their way up. Everyone trying to collapse in on a Poco. He's going to get pushed away from the rest of his squad, but still not finished off. Fire strike from him. Not going to be able to find anything in the lair. Take it dangerously low there on that brig. Still no one going to be taken down. It's a very crucial moment there. For the side of Atlanta Rain, but they push forward. Toronto managed to find a Fran. Getting rid of that Zarya. Going to be delaying those grabs. Quite some time. Ivy now going to be pushing forward as Envy picks up the double kill, finishing off Masa. Both it's a positional it disadvantage that the rain had to attack from after misidentifying the composition of Defiant, had to swap off the Tracer, go to the later Zarya. Now they're down on ultimates as well. Roki was hovering around to knock the front line away from the rest of the squad as well on that Lucio. Made it happen. Very clean fight for the Defiant here. And when they go back to where they're comfortable, you can see a clear gap here. 3-3. Three, three. See if they can execute on the fight. Graviton Surge nearly online for Ivy. Just needs to get a couple more of these right clicks lobbed into the back line. Also almost taken down. Actually, eight does manage to find him with the coalescence. He's burning him right out of that back line. Doesn't matter how many people he got in front of you. Still gonna be taking that damage. So the Lucio does fall. That is still gonna be Toronto maintaining control, already pushing beyond 50%. On this map, Coalescence is very strong because the team that has the point controlled, you're fighting through a choke point where that's gonna get so much damage and healing done. You also have insane extra sustain that Kodak just can't offer on this Inyata. Well, something's gonna happen here for Atlanta to try to open things up. That's gonna be the grab in from Ivy Bomb to the back. Does not find anything for Urster. He makes it back in, but Popo gonna be eliminated in the front line as Envy pops him with a subconstruct of his own. Layer nowhere to go. Gets caught up right in the mess of things. Taken down. Now it's gonna be the cleanup kills coming through for Toronto, who are just really very much online here in this second round. It just wasn't a good angle there to really get value out of Poke Post Shatter, even though it was good. Defiant actually got hit by it because they weren't ready for that. They didn't expect that to Yapung. happen. He's trying to play sneaky. He's trying to play up around that corner, but they do manage to spot him out. It's gonna be the fight breaking out. Sound Barrier trying to save their lives, and Layer barely managing to stay alive through that charge, but does get taken down by the swing of the hammer. Duckling finds that. That cap nearly coming through the flip of the point. Will push Toronto back over. This is where the fight could just finish. Poco swings his way to another kill here. And Stellar gets taken down. Shatter getting dropped in. Manages to find Roki, but no one can capitalize on the kill. Yakupo gets Poco. Now Roki and Ape are going to be eliminated. There's no supports in the fight at the moment here for the Toronto Defiant. They're still going to be trying to hold on, but they cannot do so. The flip has come through. Atlanta Rain finally gained control in overtime. But can they entrench themselves? Can they maintain control? It's you know, typical Ivy, unfortunately, another grab that's misutilized after the fight is lost. They thought they could flip it, but the one time Zenyatta's gonna out-sustain Hila Moira is during Transcendence. Codex 
Force Transcendence comes in later, helps them heal, stay alive in the fight, get on top of the supports and kill them. And then Ivy's grab there was just misplaced. There was not going to be any sustainability to win that follow-up fight despite his high energy count. Still so very far to go. If Atlanta want to close this down with a 2-0, bomb in the back, MD looking for a pickoff, not gonna find him an eight. Man, just get a double kill with the coalescence. And the bomb out from Urser is not gonna result in anything. It's just the supports finding all the kills right now. They literally get all of them as they wipe the team. 141% Toronto Defiant will tie it up here on Busan. Aid, you know, not with a flashy history in his very brief time playing in Apex, but. He's here on the stage here, he's playing an unconventional hero, utilizing that choke point, knowing they were gonna have that controlled. And the Coalescence comes up big twice there, not to mention his extra healing that he can output over Kodak's Zenyatta, which is more of a damage-based hero. We're gonna take a look at this Coalescence again. Notice the choke here. Not only can he fake Yakun immortal, though there's just no way for the rain to really get out of here around this corner. If they go to the left side there, they're gonna get caught by Yakun's hammer. If they go to the right, there's no escape. So. Very good utilization there of that ultimate and using the map terrain to great effect. Fantastically done to tie things up. Very convincing there on Sanctuary from Toronto. But can they carry it through? Can they start things off with a map one win here in this series? Atlanta Rain already again gonna be pulling back, looking to shift some things up. Seems like Toronto is gonna be doing the same exact thing. A lot of respect being shown from both sides. Not messing around. It'll be the swaps over onto the Reinhardt. Eight gonna be going to the Zenyatta this time. Yeah, it's, it's, you never want to risk the Winston here, I, I feel, when you're in map three. If it goes poorly, everything gets snowball away from you from there. Point gonna be unlocked though. Atlanta able to get back first. Ronto, however, is still going to be contesting. Yakpung going forward, getting nice swings in. Going to build up for that shatter, already going to be at 60%. Popo, he hasn't hit anybody. He's going to be sitting at 9% here. Yakpung can just keep playing up around this corner and get that ultimate online. 100 energy now for Ivy. Beaming his way up, trying to get that grab ready to go. Ronto do manage to snag the first cap. Popo, gone lower and lower, can't make it around the corner in time. Roki gets a double kill for himself. Taking down the break as well. Now the charge forward. That's gonna be a grab online for Ivy, who's looking much better, much more at home here today. Yeah, Roki is absolutely killing it on this Lucio. Forcing positional mistakes, knocking players into Yakpung's damage there, which is part of the reason why he's massively leading damage. Popo is still sitting at the 50%, as mentioned earlier. And the Defiant now defend the point with six ultimates and a choke control. How can Atlanta hope to break this? Grab gonna be coming down, locking up the members of Toronto Defiant, but Aid has that transcendence to keep them topped up. Counter, grab comes through from Ivy. Vasa gonna be the first one taken down. Bomb up into the front, double kill out for Envy as the brand, and then there, go take, it's taken down. Clean up here as they look for the white. Won't be able to finish off everybody on the side of Atlanta, but Toronto Defiant. Very much in control. The ultimates that Atlanta leave with are the Sound Barrier and the Shatter. But unfortunately, those ultimates are not going to be useful here in this attack, very likely because they have to fan out into the concave that is the Toronto Defiant. They're going to take a different approach angle here. Really appreciate this. This way, they get Popo into an area where you could use a Shatter. If you approach from the other side, it would not have happened. But again, Roki looking for the setup. Yep, gets the boop in. Sound Barrier is still going to be online. Shatter going to be coming down. Locks up a couple people into the back line. The Sound Barrier will be there to keep them alive. They find the First couple kills now gonna be spilling through. Two more left to go to complete the white, but Toronto at 80% now. Atlanta, can they do anything to flip this back? I mean, Roki is absolutely killing it. Not only does he set up the fight to make the shatter there a little bit awkwardly angled for Pokebo, but he hits the barrier right afterwards to keep his teammates that were hit alive. Ivy looking for the flank and grab. Yeah, it comes in right in behind Lair. Didn't stand a chance. The sound barrier comes in to try to get the rest of the squad alive, but now the big tank gonna be taken down to Fran. Knocked out. They can't get there. And that is gonna be the Toronto Defiant taking Busan. The rain may have the depth of hit scan. They may have this advantage in terms of different styles of play. But when we go to what is the meta, the 3-3, three, three, the tank, that is where Defiant has the advantage. Map one over to Toronto. Let's see how Atlanta bounces back when we come back from the break. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. 